live from the Key TV studio to your TV and on the web, it's Homework Hotline. Go to homeworkhotline.tv to ask your math or science questions. Welcome to Homework Hotline. My name is Pam Halston and I taught science at Fortuna High School. And my name is Beth Baker and I teach math at McKinleyville Middle School in McKinleyville. Welcome to the show everyone. Mm -hmm. We're excited that you've tuned in, however yes. you've tuned in, because you could be on the television or... Yes, and then if you want to participate in the show, all you need to do is go to uh, type in homeworkhotline.tv and uh, you can uh, type in your comments and then you can be part of the conversation today. So we would love yes. to have you as part of it. So you can watch us on TV and you can participate right. uh, on the, on the um, live streaming channel. Yes. Uh, before we forget, we also want to just do a little shout out. There is um, a uh, thing about the Serengeti coming. It's called Serengeti Rules. And so that's a show that will be showing up here. Uh, let's see, that's tomorrow night at 8 o'clock on Keat. So it's one of my most favorite nights on Keat because then Nature is the name of this show and then Nova is the show after that. So it's like the science evening. It's very oh, cool. I love that. Eight yes. to ten. Yes. Absolutely. Very exciting. All right. So uh, just so we don't forget, we wanted to bring that up right away. And um, generally speaking, um, the science teacher, how many years did you teach science, Pam? Thirty-five. Thirty-five years. I'm on thirty-two years of teaching math. Uh, we never get bored of this stuff, so jump in and join us. We'd yes. love to have you. And um, I think the very first time you and I ever did a show together years ago, you handed me a live stick bug, and it climbed up my <laughs> arm and got stuck in my hair. Oh, and no. we just chatted while you got the stick bug. Like, <laughs> So today we have insects again. But yes. I feel like they're going to be a little more manageable this time. Oh, absolutely. They <laughs> will be. Well, we can help so anyway. They'll be crawling up our arms. Yeah. Uh, but insects, oh, what an important animal, a, a massively important one. And we're wearing yes. part of their, uh, their, their s the body parts that One of they their have. characteristics. One of their characteristics. Okay, good. I traits. notice I need to straighten my characteristics. Yes. They're it's a little bit goofy. <laughs> yeah, there yes. we go. Yes. Uh -huh. These are, uh, th it would be so amazing if we had these because they can smell with them. They can, some of them can hear with them. So they they're a sense organ? They're a sense organ. Uh -huh. They can detect humidity, some of them, and some of them, a fly can detect uh, the, the air speed as it's flying. The wow. direction, like in the speed of so the air. So um, sometimes we, uh, uh, <laughs> I love that camera shot <laughs> yeah, a lot, um, is we call them feelers. Feelers, yes. Right, isn't that kind of the slang term for that them? That is the slang term. And so as a sense mm -hmm. organ, it makes sense that they'd be your feelers. It's true. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How, how cool that would be, though, yeah. to have Mine aren't working there. that well, by the <laughs> way. I'm, uh, yeah. Except for I think I'm blocking they alien nice transmissions. Because we're going to do something with you first. Okay. First. okay. Here we go. So um, but before we start, I just want to say yeah. big giant shout out and thank you to Humboldt State University Natural History Museum, who has donated th these uh, items that we're going to be using to talk about insects. Oh. And by the way, all teachers out there, if any teachers are watching, they have all kinds of uh, things like fossils and a thing on birds that we're going to do. So they have like a, a box that's full of teaching equipment uh -huh. and materials. And can teachers check that out? They can. Oh, how yes, great. Science in a box. It is. Ooh, there's a oh, lovely collection there's a of bunch insects. Of insects. So cool. Well, Very they nice. all of these insects in this picture right here share uh -huh. uh, the same body parts. So we're going to take a look at body Good. parts. And I closer inspection, I think they're all beetles. Um, they're beautiful. Let me see. I'm looking up here. Yeah. And you're 100% right. Those are all Beetles, yeah. Very cool. Beetles are the most numerous of all the insects. Oh, oh check and this And then here's our a close-up of yes. one of our little uh, friends that we brought today. Yes. Yes, that's a nice picture. It is a nice picture. And all these right. bees and ants and wasps are all in the same um, order is what the name of it is. Uh -huh. It's a group. that uh -huh. When you take the big, all the insects, and then you narrow it down to characteristics are similar. Right. Okay. So now we're going to turn you into an insect, Beth. So let Yay. us let us move here we to go. the front. Okay, so we're going to go to the we're front going counter. To the front. And I shall now bug up. Yes. Here we go. So first we have to make her so she has distinct body segments, sections. Okay, here we so go. So here she has a head, you guys can all see. Head. And then she has a part here that's called her thorax. Okay. Down below that, where her legs are, is known as her the abdomen. Okay. Head, thorax, abdomen. Head, Got thorax, it. So they okay. have three body parts. Okay. okay. What do I get next? 
Okay, next, you're going to get some, so on the thorax, the thorax mm -hmm. is a very important part of the, the insect, uh -huh. and it's the part that has both the wings, if there are wings, and the legs. The legs come uh -huh. out of this middle section. Okay, got so it. So we're going to give you a left wing first. Okay, I'm going to Velcro myself so she's together. going to be Here an insect go. with wings. Can you think okay. of an insect that has two, has two pairs of wings? Two pairs of wings. Um, would a fly have two pairs of wings? Fly has only one pair of wings, but oh. you know, how, how are you supposed bee? to know that? But a bee, yes, a bee, a bee definitely. definitely. Two pairs of wings. Okay, okay. now, so she has her, she has her um, uh, wings okay. on, so she can fly around and escape. Uh -huh. and, and and now she's going to put on her legs, and we're going to count one at a time as she puts her legs oh on. Oh my gosh! Okay. Yes. Yeah, so now we have to figure out which Here ones, go. which one which goes where. Which is funny because I was looking at cartoons of insects yes. the other day, and I noticed a lot of insects, uh, in the cartoons anyway, have four legs. Oh. Um, and I wondered about those like, are wrong, <laughs> or maybe the poor creature had had a terrible accident. Well, no, it, it, it's a spider oh. then. It's a spider or a tick, because those oh. are the ones that have those. Oh, really? I didn't yes. realize that ticks had four legs. Yes, they do. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah, well, eight, but eight. You know what you yes. mean? Yes. Okay. Okay. Right, here, here she is. Oh, yeah. Putting four, on yes. the proper number. That was one, two, okay. three, four, five. Okay. And now Beth, the there. insect, has six legs or okay. three pairs of legs on her All body. right, so I have three cool. pairs of legs. Yes. And everything is attached correctly to my, what is this again? Thorax. My thorax. Okay, yes, your got thorax. It. Okay. So, and she has a head with the feelers. The head with the feelers so okay. that she can sniff or do whatever she wants. Mm -hmm. Determine air speed's very cool. Speaking of her head, oh, though. Oh, I could look for pollen. Yes, but you wouldn't be looking like a human looks with the type of eyes that we have. Okay. You'd be looking with insect eyes. And oh, so my Beth goodness. Is okay, now here we go. Insect eyes. Okay, there. Yay. How, oh. Okay, and I'll hide my other legs, <laughs> my, my top legs. Yes, I'm going to okay. hide those. Okay, for good. Now. Okay. She is a go. legit, look at this legit oh insect right here. So the thing about her eyes is instead of just having one lens, she has multiple lenses all over the face of her of her eyes, and so she can see little bits, and it makes it so, and, and look how round those eyes are. She can see in the side, she can see in the front. So I have really good peripheral vision? Yes, you and do. And can I see things like if a, a yes. bird was gonna come down to eat yes. me, could I like fly away and escape? Absolutely, ah. and you're completely cued in to movement. Movement is how you react, basically, ah, with these got eyes. It. Okay, good. Yes. And I, of course, right now cannot see a thing. No, you can't, you can't see, but you yes. look absolutely marvelous. I, I trust you. You do, it's very good. <laughs> So now, uh, on the, the lower part of um, the abdomen part is the part where reproduction occurs, is the part where you get rid of waste, is the part, so it's like the, uh, well, let's see, it's like your, your guts would be, so the heart and the, they don't have lungs, uh -huh. but actually the breathing is down in the abdomen. They have little holes down the side of the abdomen. Are those spherical? Spherical, oh, yes. Oh, I took a class long ago. The vocabulary is <laughs> coming back to yes. me. <laughs> where air can go in and come out, and they don't need a lot because they're, they don't get very big. Oh, right, so they don't, have, they don't need tons of, of uh, air Oxygen. capacity. Right, yeah. right, because right. their metabolism isn't really super yeah. high. Oh. So that is very nice. Right. Thank you so much. Now yes. we, will, we will move on to the next thing okay, that good. we have. Um, awesome. For those of you at home yes. at um, homeworkhotline.tv, um, if you have started to see the pumpkin spiders, I would love to hear about it. It's the season. Yes, it is. And so today we're talking about six-legged insects, mm -hmm. but also, um, at least for us at our house, the big deal yes. is the pumpkin spiders like to make beautiful, elaborate webs right across the front door. Oh, and I know. So you walk out. <laughs> it's I wanted to just send somebody else out first, so if there's a web, they can clear it out, yeah. and then I go behind them. Right. So that's my strategy. On the good side, though, of pumpkin spiders, um, the chances of them actually hurting you and oh, do you want to take our? Oh no, I think we're f probably we'll far it. more likely to hurt yes. the pumpkin spider than the pumpkin spider yes. is to hurt us. So yes. even if uh, by chance you go through their web and you feel one on your neck. You don't need to swat it. That's probably a bad idea because that then they might get upset. But um, you you can just move them off of you. And and I know when you're scared though, it's hard. I know. To there's react rationally. Oh, there's a beautiful pumpkin Isn't that spider. Lovely? Look at that. Very very that nice. That looks like a quarter pounder right there. Yeah. That oh one's my goodness. Huge. Yeah. yeah. They're all females at this point because they're getting ready to uh, catch a bunch of insects. So uh -huh. then they can uh, feed their babies. Oh. Yeah. Yes. No, I love them, but I really, the way, the way I love spiders is I like to see them before they see me. I know. I love them. I, I don't like you. to be surprised by yes. them. Have you yes. ever been on when I had spiders on? Um, I don't, you know. oh yes, I think once years ago I held a tarantula, a tarantula. that you brought. Well, that's so Like cool. a beautiful little red legs. Oh, nice. Yes. Uh -huh. Cool. Good. Yeah, and just watching how their legs work. 
Oh, here's a beautiful diagram. Yeah, that's Look a very that. nice thorax diagram. and abdomen. Yes, absolutely. And you can see that the wings and the legs are yeah. all attached at the thorax. Mm -hmm. And you can see the various zones. And there, the spiracle, posterior spiracle, and so that the hole that they show there. And that's where they uh, breathe? Yes. Oh, fascinating. Oh, look, it, it actually looks like some of the, that one's on its thorax, but uh, there's a lot on the I abdomen as well. I think I heard well. a factoid that the weight of all the insects in the world outweighs all the mammals in the world. Do you think that's true? Uh, absolutely. By oh, okay. Yes, a hundred percent. By okay, by a bunch. By a bunch. Ah. The number of mammals compared to the number of insects is just not even comparable by uh -huh. millions, billions. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Got so it. So it's like you're very tiny, but if there's enough of you, yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. And if you think about like a beehive or a colony of ants, you can uh -huh. think there's a ton of them doing amazing work. Yes. One tiny creature at a time. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. The colonies are very cool. Yes. Um, so then my thought was that uh, the next thing we would do is mm -hmm. we're going to take a look in this. So this is um, an insect collecting net and uh -huh. you, can, uh, you can collect insects with this. And hopefully if you do uh -huh. collect insects, I took a class in um, oh, I think we have a question. At Humboldt State. Oh, we uh -huh. do. Beautiful. And uh, it was, yes, yes, make sure you call I'm gonna us. I'm going to put my glasses on because I think we have a, oh, goody. a contributor. Yes. Yay. Uh -huh. Yes. Very good. Oh, good. And uh, Charlotta, in just a minute, I will um, work on your algebra with you. And I'm going to guess that you're a seventh or eighth grader because um, you have given us a question exactly like what my kids are doing right now. So uh, in just a moment, I will do your problem on the board. How do you like that? Would you Sweet. get your bugs out while I Sweet. Uh, write I will. Uh, Charlotta's I am. question I down? I am. Please do. Okay, good. All right. And I feel like um, probably algebra with antenna is better than algebra without antennas. <laughs> I'm going to leave mine on. I think you should. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so let's see here. Um, here we go. Uh, we have a live chat person who contributed, and they contributed this one for us. So uh, we got, how do you solve 5y plus 1 equals, the font is tiny, and I have my glasses on. So here we go, 8y minus 5 plus 6y. So why don't we take a quick little algebra break? And then, uh, and then we'll go back to the insects. How's that? Okay, that sounds perfect. Okay. Yeah, and I love our camera shot because, oh my gosh, <laughs> the antennas. I just feel like so much smarter. Yeah. <laughs> I could use them to point to the terms maybe. Yeah, there we go. All right. Um, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to really think about the left and right side of this equation. And we're going to look for if there's any way to simplify over here. So 5y plus 1 is already simplified. There's nothing we can do about that. But 8y take away 5 plus 6y. Um, 8y and 6y, and this is plus 6y, by the way, um, is 14y. And so I can simplify over here. And then I just write all the other terms down so I still have them. So we want a nice mature solving style uh, when we do these. And then what we're going to try and do eventually is solve this thing so we can figure out what 1y is worth. So right now I have y's on both sides. Uh, so I think I'm going to take 5y off of both sides. And that's fair. Sometimes you see an equal sign here, which just reminds you that on the left and right side, uh, what you did a fair thing. There's a super common mistake where kids try and subtract 6y right here, which doesn't make any sense at all. So if you really draw that stripe and think about the left and the right side, it'll help you be fair about how you're solving. So we're trying to get everything simpler. So 5y take away 5y is nothing. Over here I now have a 1. That's all that's left. Over here, 14y take away 5y is 9y. Take away 5. So there. So now I want one side to be all number. And I want one side to be all variable terms. And beginning novice solvers start to get really stuck right here. So I have a 1, a 9y, and a minus 5. And what happens is people aren't sure which term to tackle. So do you have a feel for that? Oh, yes. 1, um, 9y, and 5. Do you know which term needs to go if we want all numbers on one side and all variables on the other side? So it, there is a number attached to the variable in this case, which mm -hmm. is a 9. And there is the 5 there, too. Mm -hmm. So could we just add 5 to both sides to at least get the 9y on mm -hmm. one side? So okay. first off, is it fair if both sides get a 5? Yeah. Uh, in my class, we actually draw little people, and one person owns the left-hand collection of of terms and one person owns the right hand and then whatever they do has to be fair for the right and left side. Mm -hmm. So if both people get five, that's fair. I get six equals nine y. And I don't want nine y's, I want one y. So I'm going to divide both sides by nine. And then my favorite trick in algebra is six divided by nine is 0.66666 forever, is it? It's, yeah, because it's two thirds. 
um, is that you can just leave it in fractional form. You can just flip that switch in your brain that goes, oh, I'm not dividing anymore. Now I'm just looking at a fraction. You can choose how you see it. And so my favorite solution for this, so 9 ninths is just 1. So now I have 1y, which is just y. The 1 is optional. You can leave it there or not. And then 6 over 9, I'm just going to reduce it to 2 thirds and let that be my final answer. I'm going to move this because I don't like where I put it. So 2 thirds is the value of y. So there we go. That was a very nice, nice. problem. Yeah, yeah, that was. And then uh, if we were feeling super ambitious, we could plug it back in and check it. Um, but I think at this point we'll leave it. So we'd plug in the two-thirds, and then life would proceed to get a little messy from there. Mm -hmm. But as long as the left side equals the right side, when you plug in the final value, you're no fine. What. Yay. Yeah. That's very yep. good. And thank you very much to um, Charlotta Hart for bringing us a really nice piece of algebra. Thank yes. you. Yes. Yeah, thank you. That's great. And now I think what we get next is a bug quiz. Yay, a bug quiz. Okay, here is the bug quiz. Okay, all right. Here so we, go. we are now, you're going to pick, you're going to select from this a bunch of bugs that okay. we can. Okay, and I and don't know if the camera can show the tabletop. Som oh, sometimes we can look straight down on the and tabletop. We'll and we'll hold up we whatever the bug. Oh, there oh, it is. Perfect. Yeah, that is perfect. Yay, look and at these. I want to say one thing about wow. bug and insect. They are not the same thing. Oh, that's true. I know we true. all say that, but, um, in, oh, maybe you can find a bug in this. Because there all is depends. something called a true bug, right? Yes, a true bug. Oh. And I do see one, but you'd have to, okay, let's do that first then. Okay. So, so there's only in this whole group right uh -huh. here, only one true bug. Only one I know. true bug. Okay, so these I think are beetles. So Beth is looking for here's some characteristics. Here's some winged whatever creatures. Works. And now she's, look what she's doing. She's organizing them into groups. I am, because that's what math yeah. teachers do. And it's perfect. That's what science teachers do. I don't see do. anything that doesn't seem to fit with other partner. I this know. thing, maybe. Yeah, that thing is uh, not. But no, because he's got a bunch of body segments. He does have a bunch of body segments Okay, so there. tell me what is a true All right. bug. All right, so but you can't really tell from this, but mm -hmm. this guy right here is a true bug. Okay, is that a cockroach? What is it? It is not. It is, I think, uh, some. it's a type of plant bug. Okay. But how can you tell? Um, yeah. Well, let, should I just hold it like this, maybe straight? Okay. Okay. So we um, keep torturing the camera. I know. I'm so sorry. I'm constantly. so sorry. <laughs> um, so with you, for look, let's compare it to a beetle. You want to hold the beetle? Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll so go like this. We'll show. Oh yes. Here we go. Okay. Oh, All and right. I'll put paper behind it. Behind the paper. Aha. Paper. We've got this, people. Okay. Cool. Okay. There so we go. The beetle has uh -huh. completely a hard shelled back. That's the beetle's back is hard shell, oh, okay. and that's very protective. Uh -huh. The bug has the center sort of triangle is is hard, uh -huh. but then the parts down here are what's known as membranous, which means they have membranes, so it looks like a oh. wing of a fly. Okay. Yeah. So that is the difference, and oh. this is a plant eating uh, creature. Um, a lot of bugs are are plant eaters. Uh huh. Oh, that's and fascinating. This guy is a rhinoceros beetle, you can yes. tell. And they use this to like, oh, I saw a nature. The nature show you guys are going to watch they, tomorrow. Um, do this they joust with these? They do. They yes. joust. And if they're really strong, they can flip each other off the, um, wow. the strong. Wow, like battle flip. bots for battle bugs. Battle bots is correct. Oh, very cool. Nice. Okay. Well, I flunked the first one of the quiz, but I know I'm going to do good on the <laughs> next one. But it was one. the hardest question, so okay. let's not stick with you. Let's not uh, <laughs> judge you on that. Okay, so um, there is a pollinator, and actually there's more than one pollinator, but oh, in yeah. our group here we have uh, pollinators. My five-year-old nephew came to visit me this summer, and he lectured me on pollinators at great length. He wow. had seen several shows. Very good. So I'm going to go for these two bee-looking creatures. Yes. Maybe a bumblebee, I'm thinking, Yes. and maybe a honeybee. Yes, that's a good And I think for sure good, good these guesses. two are pollinators. Yes. yes. Yes, they are okay. pollinators. And okay, why is pollination guys. important? Because that's what makes food happen. Yes, we wouldn't have the fruits uh, that we that we eat My and enjoy and love. My favorite thing to think about with pollination is when you peel an ear of corn and there's all that thread on the outside, mm -hmm. and every single one of those got pollinated to create that kernel. Yeah, that's a good point. That's amazing when mm -hmm. you think about how much pollination it takes just to get an ear of corn to grow. Yes. The, that's amazing. It just is. Just even that. There are yes. different ways to pollinate, but certainly bugs are, I mean, I use that bad word. Uh, insects are extremely yes. important. And uh -huh. Yes, and a little group here. All right, right my next question for you uh -huh. is um, name or, sh or select one of these guys that actually um, feeds on dead things and um, actually can, uh, it's larva, which we're going to talk about in a little bit, uh -huh. what is a larva. Um, these are all adults. We're looking okay. at adults here. Mm -hmm. um, so in the life cycle of of insects, there's a stage called the larva, but the larva can actually break the the um, dead thing down. So 
Where is somebody who eats dead things, especially in the larval form? Uh, I'm going to say the fly. The fly, good for you. Because I think yes. maggots, aren't maggots yes. babies? And don't they yes. eat dead stuff? Yes, they do. Okay, there they you go. They break it down, and that's a very and important And good job, thing. or else the world would be full of dead things, good right? Jobs, and it'd be horrible, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, they need to take out the trash. They Thank do. you, they little do. bugs. I, know I, I mean, it's it is kind of gross, but, but it's also a super important job. True. Do you notice that um, I need I've already started to line them up? No, that's like good. You gave me a nice random pile and that's I have very to helpful. organize them a little. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then uh, next um, name our show. Okay, here's Select our pollinators. One. Yes, pollinators. This guy uh, helps with decomposition. Yes. Okay, eats dead it's stuff. Okay, what else do we yes. have? Wait, did we where happened to the bug? Did we Oh, we're looking at the true bug. There. There's the true okay. bug. Oh, okay. there's the true bug. I yes. Think we got that. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to select. This is a harder question, uh -huh. so we'll give it a shot. Um, yeah. Of these of these adults, the yes. larva of this one lives for a longer time than the adult and lives in the water. So they oh. lives in the water and lives longer than the adult and is is a predator just like the adult. Oh, uh, yeah. is it this thing? Is oh. it a caddisfly? It is or is it a not that is a praying mantis. I just know caddisfly larvae yeah, are the ones. You that are so right, and I oh, don't, we don't we don't have a caddisfly uh -huh. though. But okay, that good. is a good guess, very uh -huh. good guess. So yeah. the closest thing to that is this uh, dragon. And we're going to take a uh, just a quick break because we have a science question from Nagok. Excellent. And uh, the question we got is: I got a question in biology. What is the difference between nucleoid and nucleus? Oh, what a good question that I can't even think of what I can I know what a nucleus is certainly but nucleoid I'm not sure if that's response so can I get back to that uh, yeah because I, I we may I don't have really to get back to you yes, on Thursday we will. because that gives us time oh, to do our homework that is a great but if idea. it's your homework tonight we are so sorry because we're gonna yeah. stop and do so nucleus not too hard to exactly. deal with but the nucleoid is one where we need to do some oh, research look, oh we and might here have some we go here. oh it's the region where the DNA hangs out in the nucleus oh cool I don't think I've ever called it the nucleoid region okay. but nice Okay. okay, so this is a this is a picture. Uh, thank you. Who is the person? Okay, Nagok. Nagok, thank you so much yes. for your question. And uh -huh. this is a picture of a bacteria. The bacteria has those little, um, they look like tails, and that's for moving them around. And that purpley thing, or the sort of magenta thing, the colored thing in the center, is the nucleus, which is the place where the nucleoid hangs out with the DNA. So, thank okay. you, people in the back, <laughs> for <laughs> helping us out. <laughs> oh, me out. Yes, whoo. Yeah. Okay. That, so, there you go. It's part of the nucleus, the nucleoid. All right. It's a region. Yes. Kay. Kay. All right. And then we'll, uh, if we have anything else to say about that Thursday, we'll bring it back, too, yes. if there's more to that conversation. That's a good, that's a good. Yes, yes absolutely. Thank you for that. Okay. All right. On, onward with our, oh, we, we did discuss. Oh, and is got, there thank you. Yes. Yes. Okay. We appreciate you lobbying these out to us. So, we may uh, continue the conversation yes. on Thursday. Yes. Since you've. Uh, Does he have another one? Yeah. No, he just said that um, he knows that everybody can research online, but he wanted to hear our take on oh, it. Oh, yeah, good. So good. thank you so much. That's we love helpful. that a lot. Yeah, yes. we do. That's Absolutely. Very good. Yeah. All right, now, of who we have remaining? Lots. Of remaining okay. lots. Okay, back to okay, the bugs. Of, of these, um, which of the, these makes a very loud noise? And if you're in uh, the Midwest in the summer or in the South, it almost is deafening. Oh, it's so loud because there's a bunch a of them in the yes. I don't know which. I'm going to guess yes. that one. Great guess. Oh, because yes. it's got that hard case. Yes, and they rub their legs on the case and I, they I've make I've heard it described noise. as kind of the same way a violin makes noise with a yeah. bow and yeah, string. Yeah, that's right. Is that yes, right? probably okay. so, yeah. I would imagine. Yes. Okay, so but we the got noise the cicada. Like, wow. Wow. Yeah. Oh, and I have to wow. turn this guy over because I'm keeping score. He's my minus one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, okay. That's good. Yeah. All right. Nice. All right. Um, yeah. Now let's see. Um, there. Uh, how about you select all of the beetles that we have in our remaining group because this uh, group of of insects is the oh. most numerous. Okay. So I got beetle, beetle, yeah. beetle. I'm just going by their hard yes. carapaces. Yes. Yes. Beetle. Good. And her the word carapace is a good word, and, and it then means the shell on the back. This thing is a leaf hopper. Yeah. But I do not know if he's a beetle. So he's in the maybe. Okay. I don't know if mantis is. Okay. Oh no, we already did him, huh? Did we do him? What, he was the caddisfly larva. Yeah, like that, like yeah. that. I mean, okay. similar. Yeah, okay, yeah, got it. Yes, okay. Uh, except for this guy's got no wings. So right. He, but he uh, has larva that lives for a long time and eats a lot, is that right? Actually, this is the guy that lives in the water. And I don't oh. know that we, so we kind of were discussing this Oh, no, this we one. haven't done him yet. We're not I don't done think him. he's We've a beetle. Him. And okay. he, for sure, not a beetle. Yes, no. Okay, 
Uh huh. Okay, cool. Got it. You got it. They're all Yay. there. Yay! Okay. She's Good. got all the Beatles. All right. Okay. Perfect. Nice. Yay! And then um, we are nearing the end of the show, mm -hmm. but I think that we will continue our bug talk because we have some spectacular other things to oh talk about. Oh my gosh, we do. Today, um, so we have all kinds of things, so we will continue our bug talk next week. And add birds. Oh. oh. We're going to have birds as well. Oh, good. Do they get to swoop down and eat stuff? Yeah, I'm not sure. sure. I'm really hoping there's a glove puppet involved here that somewhere. Is, that oh, would be oh so cool. Gosh, yeah, because I want to like come down and eat the bug that tastes bad and then spit it out and then fly away again. That would be very nice. Yes. We could combine Absolutely. these boxes. Yes. And thank you again to the HSU Natural History Museum. So helpful uh -huh. for loaning these yes. very A cool box things. full of insects. Yay. How do you like that? Okay, I guess we won't call it a box full of bugs because no. there was one bug. Right. But uh, in right. any case, yeah. So uh, please join us again. Yes. And uh, giant Thursday. thanks uh, in particular to Nagok and Charlotta yes. uh, for, um, yeah, for <laughs> hanging out with us. Yay.